a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Strata Launch Systems Strata Launch Systems Corporation is a space transportation venture developing a new air launch to orbit system, with its corporate headquarters located in Seattle, Washington. The project was officially announced in December 2011 by Microsoft co founder Paul G. Allen and Scale Composites founder Bert Rutten, who had previously collaborated on the creation of Spaceship One. The project is a mobile launch system with three primary components a carrier aircraft being built by Scaled Composites, a multi-stage payload launch vehicle, which would be launched at high altitude into space from under the carrier aircraft, plus a mating and integration system by Dynetics. The first test flights are planned to begin in 2019, with the goal of a commercial launch by 2020. History The project was started almost a year before the public announcement was made, Development costs were initially projected to be US $300 million in 2011. Dianetics actually began work in early 2010 and had approximately 40 employees working on the project. Dianetics was cited as responsible for the total systems engineering, integration and testing, which includes aerodynamics, loads, and interfaces. It was announced the SpaceX Corporation was also already working on the design for the rocket-powered space vehicle components of the system. The collaboration with SpaceX had ended by 2012. In a 2015 interview, former President Chuck Beams explained, SpaceX was a partner. And like a lot of partnerships, it was just determined that it was best we went our separate ways different ambitions. We were interested in their engines, but Elon and his team, they're about going to Mars, and we're just in a different place. And so I think it was a parting of the ways that was amicable. Strata Launch Systems completed its first 88,000 square feet composites production building in October 2012. In February 2013, the company completed construction of its 92,640 square feet carrier assembly hangar and operations facilities at the Mojave Air and Space Port. The carrier aircraft was originally projected to make its first test flight in 2015. By October 2013, the first flight of the carrier aircraft had been pushed back until 2018 at the earliest, with the first flight of the air-launched rocket expected at the earliest 2019. In 2014, Strata Launch announced that it was considering multiple launch vehicle options over a range of satellite sizes, and that some development work on the orbital launch vehicle has been slowed down to focus on completion of the carrier aircraft. In 2015 Strata Launch Systems was placed under the supervision of Paul Allen's new company Vulcan Aerospace, a subsidiary of Vulcan. Incorporated Beam stated, Vulcan Aerospace is the company within Vulcan that plans and executes projects to shift how the world conceptualizes space travel through cost reduction and on-demand access. Vulcan Aerospace has its heritage in Spaceship One and oversees the Strata Launch Systems project. Later in the year, in November, Gary Wentz stepped down as president and CEO of Strata Launch Systems to join United Launch Alliance to lead human launch services for Rula. Vulcan ended its contract with Orbital ATK in mid-2015 and indicated that a decision on a new rocket for the Strata launch carrier aircraft would be made in late 2015. In 2017, Fast Company named the Strata launch one of the world's most innovative companies citing the air launch system's potential convenience. In April 2017, Strata Launch formally transitioned its name from Vulcan Aerospace to Strata Launch Systems Corporation. In May 2017, the Strata Launch was rolled out for the first time to begin fueling tests, the first of many ground tests. In December 2017, the Strata Launch was rolled out for the first taxi test on the runway at the Mojave Air and Space Port in California. Carrier Aircraft Allen and Rutan stated that Strata Launch's carrier aircraft would have a wingspan of 385 feet or about 20 feet wider than the length of an Apollo Eero Saturn V and about half as long as the Hindenburg class airships. This would make it the largest airplane, by wingspan, ever to fly. It will weigh in at over 1,200,000 pounds including the fully fueled launch vehicle and will require a runway at least 12,000 feet long. 
it can carry over 500,000 pounds of payload. The carrier plane will be powered by six Pratt & Whitney PW4000, 46,000 thrust range jet engines, sourced from two used 747-400s that were cannibalized for engines, avionics, flight deck, landing gear, and other proven systems to reduce initial development costs. The carrier is designed to have a range of 1,200 nautical miles when flying an air launch mission. In August 2015, Vulcan Aerospace then President Chuck Beam said, in 2016, I think, we'll have the aircraft flying, 80% is fabricated now, about 40% assembled. We should have final assembly done the end of this year or early next year. For the next few years, we'll do all of our test flights out of Mojave. There's already an air corridor that's established by the Air Force, for this kind of stuff anyway, and we'll fly out over the Pacific. On May 31, 2017 the first Strata launch carrier aircraft was towed out of the Strata launch Mojave building to start ground testing. The plan is have the first launch in 2019. On the weekend of February 24, 2018, the Strata launch carrier aircraft performed high-speed taxi tests at the Mojave Airport. Launch Vehicle Originally SpaceX was intended to provide a liquid-fueled rocket to serve as the means of lifting the Strata launch payload delivery vehicle into space by launching it at high altitude from under the carrier aircraft, but collaboration with SpaceX was abandoned in late 2012. In November 2012, Strata Launch retained Orbital ATK on a study contract to develop and evaluate several alternative configurations for the vehicle to be launched from the carrier aircraft. By early 2013, Orbital ATK was under contract to develop the Pegasus II for the Strata Launch Space Vehicle launch component. The Pegasus II was expected to be able to deliver up to 13,500 pounds to low Earth orbit. In May 2014, it was announced that the Pegasus II solid fuel rocket was not achieving design economic goals and that Strata Launch had contracted with Aerojet Rocket Dyne to build the RL 10C1 dual motor liquid fuel engines for the launch vehicle. In October 2016, it was announced that multiple Pegasus XL rockets would be used by Strata Launch. Manned Launch Vehicle Shortly after losing a NASA contract competition to SpaceX and Boeing in September 2014, Sierra Nevada Corporation announced it had conceptualized a launch system that combined a scaled-down version of the company's Dream Chaser space plane with the Strata Launch System's high-altitude air launch system. In late November 2014, Vulcan Aerospace released the results of the SNC slash Strata Launch Space Transportation Architecture, which indicated that a reduced size Dream Chaser in conjunction with the Strata Launch based launch system could provide a number of unique mission capabilities. The proposed system would have an outbound range of 1,000 nautical miles away from the airport where the aircraft departed, which would allow launches to any given orbital plane for rendezvous with another object in low Earth orbit on a daily basis. The launch vehicle in the study was a modified air-launched orbital ATK rocket that is approximately 120 feet in length. The manned space plane payload would be a 75% sized version of the Dream Chaser vehicle previously proposed to NASA while maintaining the relative outer mold line 22.5 feet in length with a wingspan of 18.2 feet, which could carry two to three crew members plus a variety of scientific and research payloads. Facilities In 2011, Strata Launch Systems signed a 20-year lease agreement with the Kern County Airport Authority, Mojave, California for the lease of 20 acre at the Mojave Air and Space Port to build production and launch facilities. As of 2015, Strata Launch has built a 88,000 square feet fabrication hangar and a 92,640 square feet assembly hangar located close to scaled composites. The first of two manufacturing buildings, the 88,000 square foot facility, too be used to construct the composite sections of the wing and fuselage sections, was opened for production in October 2012, two months ahead of schedule and on budget. Strata Launch completed their second Mojave building. The very large hangar facility for the Strata Launch carrier aircraft, in February 2013. On May 31, 
2017 the first Strata launch carrier aircraft was towed out of the Strata launch Mojave building to start ground testing. The plan is to have the first launch in 2019. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?